How's it going, everybody? It's Ballet Brand. So, like I promised last time, we're going to be doing another video. Uh, this one's going to be in regards to hexscout.com. And like I mentioned last time, we did uh, gopulse.com. So, without any further introduction, let's just get right into it. Let me share the screen right here. And I'm actually, real quick, I am trying something different this video. Um, my buddy, Jerry Berg, Barnacle is Nerdgasm. He uh, he's recommended a tool on GitHub, which is yt.dlp, and that's something that can actually AI upscale your video to 4K. So what I'm doing here is I'm recording this in Streamyard. I'm going to download it, and then I'm going to try and do the yt.dlp thing, and we're going to try and produce this into 4K. So if it's in 4K, you'll know that it was successful. If not, then we'll just stay at the 1080p. But let me get back into it without that uh, introduction here. Okay, so hexscout.com. And let me let me do this so y'all can see. Okay, hexscout.com slash start. And then let me just, uh, let me zoom in here so everyone can see. Because I want to cover this first. And then what I'll do is similar like last time, I'll do the God Whales 2 addresses that I covered in the last video. All right, let's get right into it. So hexscout.com slash start. And here's what we can see. So let's just read some of the page. Uh, we got five different steps here. So we have hex, the leading savings certificate in the crypto asset class. Let me just make sure everyone can see. Perfect. Okay. It says hex is a token that functions similar, similarly to a savings account at a bank. <clears throat> you deposit any amount for any duration or any amount for any duration, and receive interest in return. This process is called staking. The higher your deposit amount, and the longer the investment period, the higher the generated interest. And once again, you know, we could say yield, we could say mining, etc. Um, you all get the point. The main difference, so now we're over here. The main difference between HEX and a traditional bank is that everything is digital, and there are no intermediaries such as bankers who can charge fees or take control. And also, guess what? Banks have operating hours, business hours. They're closed on holidays. Once again, you have to be, uh, you know, you have to wait for them to open their doors and see if they're available to serve you as opposed to you just being accountable for yourself. So once again, crypto is so much better to, you know, be self-sustained as opposed to relying on a middleman, a bank, an institution, etc. Let's get back into it. Uh, no fees or take control. Instead, let's see. Instead of investing in dollars, you invest in HEX through a smart contract, making you your own bank and allowing you to reap the full return of your investment growth. Now, here's what I thought was really cool. Uh, I haven't talked to the founder of Hex Scout like I did with GoPulse.com, but I have a feeling that after after this video, I'll end up messaging them, just thanking them for this uh, this wonderful tool and resource. Uh, but this is what I thought was really cool. It says, only only few really get Hex, but the ones who do will run the world. And that actually kind of reminds me in the highest of stakes uh, for the preview. I think it was the first preview. Richard talked about, you know, some of these, some of these like crypto people being like crazy loon birds type of deal. But then all of a sudden it's the the loon birds that, you know, have the Lamborghini, have some of these. And that's just as an example of like a, of like a social proof. But all of a sudden they're kind of in control of some of these, you know, large assets and things like that because, you know, they didn't really care what the other people thought of them. They were continuing to learn. And they were wanting to be their own bank and they were wanting to use some of these technologies that allowed them to be financially free. Okay, so let's come back over here. I just wanted to say, though, that that quote is really cool. And that's something that I can completely agree with. So once again, this website's done absolutely beautifully. Okay, 100% uptime. So Hex has existed for 4.1 years. It's three times audited. It's got a consensus audit, security audit, and an economics audit. Now, here's the cool thing, too, as well. Choose your investment. So <clears throat> I just refreshed the page. So I think it starts off at $1,767, $1,767. And this is a like a slide wheel that you can 
you can scroll all the way you know to the left or to the right so you can start with an 18 dollars investment and anywhere in between but you can also do a two million six hundred fifty thousand five hundred dollar investment let's just do the max for uh i don't know for for shits and giggles type of deal historical performance let's see on jan uh, let's see on fifth on january 5th 2020 you could have purchased well let, let me do something a little bit more reasonable let's just say 18 dollars for for this example because it's gonna it's gonna change the numbers here i didn't really didn't really think of that in regards to the viewer so let's just say choose your investment let's just say 18 dollars on january 5th 2020 you could have purchased 294,000 hex for 18 dollars it says the current value of 294 thousand hex is five thousand two hundred and three dollars and by staking you have the potential to earn an additional 38 percent in hex per year it says uh, at the all-time high 294,000 hex had a value of 142,249 dollars so uh from 18 dollars to uh 142,249 that's not too shabby and obviously Here's the thing. No one's going to buy the absolute bottom. No one's going to sell the absolute top. But these are numbers that have uh, happened. So you can kind of see, you know, once again, no one's going to get the perfect price purchase, things like this. But you can kind of cater some of your purchases, some of your investment decisions that you make, not me, not anyone else that you make. And you can kind of see what it's done historically. And they say that you know, history doesn't repeat, it rhymes. Well, who knows? It might be rhyming again in the future. So people that are choosing to educate themselves, they can make the decisions however they see fit. Anticipated growth. Potential growth of your investment over the next 10 years. Once again, you got the, the beautiful hex color scale. It says for $18, you could buy 1,000 hex today. Let me just make sure everyone can see. Perfect. If we assume a similar price growth to Bitcoin, Hex is projected to reach $6.29 within the next 10 years. Isn't that amazing? That seems like, to me, that seems like a very reasonable number. And, and once again, we've seen, we've seen Bitcoin do 6.9 million times return on itself. We've seen it go from sub penny. You could actually mine it for free. Richard was doing so on his graphics cards, his GPUs. <laughs> while he was retired and, you know, being a nerd gaming, um, you know, he was just clicking a, you double clicking an EXE and was mining full Bitcoin blocks with his graphics card. Um, so the point is, let me come back over here. Sorry about that. Okay, cool. So if we assume a similar price growth to Bitcoin, Hex is projected to reach $6.29 within 10 years. Once again, that was my point. That's a very conservative number uh to me and it seems it seems pretty realistic i mean we've already seen hex do we've seen hex go all the way to 56 cents and i believe that was november of 2021 was the the top but this is just the beginning you know you've got people that are staking every single day for 5555 days that are doing continuous ladders and are constantly using hex how it was designed for and so what we're going to continue to see with more adoption and more uh, more people getting into the system is naturally, you know, you have supply and demand and there's only so much supply. So when the demand becomes higher, then the price is going to reflect as well. OK, let me come back over here to the screen. It says <clears throat> by staking your hex at 38 percent APY annual percentage yield, you could earn a yield of three thousand eight hundred hex. A sip of water here. Okay. Over the next 10 years, your initial investment of $18 has the potential to grow by, and these numbers are, are just so mind blowing. You, you see them and you're like, wait, <laughs> can you repeat that number again, please? Over the next 10 years, your initial investment of $18 has the potential to grow by 170,000. 862%, resulting in a total value of $30,209. $30, and then we can scroll down here 
And once again, we're going to cover all five of these uh, these like little introductions. And then we're going to look at the, the two addresses that I looked at last time that are two addresses that seem to be known uh, that are the God whales. Okay, let's come back over here. So I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I'm kind of just setting everyone up for expectations. It says, everyone can see, perfect. It says, Hex has been one of the most successful investments to date. And right here, let me just see here. What returns would other assets have yielded over the same period, over the same time period? So we have Hex, Ethereum, Bitcoin, S&P 500, Amazon, and gold. So for Hex, I'm, I'm not going to read all these numbers, but just, just look at these numbers. Look at what we're seeing here. It's no wonder that Hex was the top performing asset, I believe, of 2020. Um, so that's pretty cool to see. And you have a community that's constantly educating each other, constantly learning from each other, asking different questions, starting different ventures, and you know, trying to help people become financially, financially literate, financially successful as well. Okay, let's come back over here. So once again, you can look at the APYs. We've got 240 annual percentage yield for HEX, 104 for Ethereum, 58 for Bitcoin, 12 for S&P 500, 11 for Amazon, and 6.5 for gold. You know, and some people say they're like, you know, crypto is such a, such a volatile thing, which it is. It's a high risk investment, all, all these things. Well, I just mentioned what a potential of a potential investment of $18 could turn into. And it doesn't have to be your whole portfolio. You know, you can still have your stocks. You can still have your precious metals. You can still have your, uh, you know, your freedom seed, your firearms, et cetera, whatever investments that you're doing, real estate, things like that. But who knows, maybe you put in five, 10%, something like that. Doesn't have to be your whole portfolio, but maybe you just start off with say 1% or a half a percent, depending on where you're at, your age, et cetera. You throw in a percent of your portfolio and you start learning some of this crypto stuff. And, and guess what? It can, sorry about that. We want to make sure that's still, uh, it can pay off. And I've seen it happen with myself and other people are living proof of it as well. Let's come back over here. We're not going to click this video, but there is a video for beginners. It says, what is Hex? How Hex pays interest? You know, how you generate the yield yourself via the smart contract. Some of these things are things that we've covered in the past. So I don't need to reiterate them again, how to maximize your profits. And then once again, we're just going to scroll through some of these things. We might not hit every single point. I don't want this to be like a three hour long video, but I do want to uh, at least introduce people to this website. Current growth figures for Hex. Let's see, number of stakers. So as you can see, once again, the log base too, it's like a, an S curve. Richard did an interview uh, not an interview, but he did like a stream slash conversation with Harry Dent. And that guy was like, yeah, I'm I'm a master of S-curves. I'm a master of market cycles, et cetera. And, you know, him and Richard kind of had a uh, a little a little bet. Yeah, a little wager on the S&P 500. And Harry Dent had said that, like, we were going to stock market crash. And, and Richard was was saying the opposite. And turns out Richard was was right when it comes to that. But what you can see, the number of stakers has grown exponentially. I mean, I've been here once again. I've been here since March 15, 2017 was when I found Richard. And then when he created Hex, it was kind of like similar with Pulsechain. He had talked about Hex for a long time, and we all thought it was going to launch sooner than it did. And then it didn't launch until December 2nd, 2019. But my point is, is I've been here from the beginning and I've seen the community grow from grassroots to now what is kind of becoming more widely adopted, massively adopted at a bigger scale. Okay. All right. Thanks for the patience, everyone here. So once again, number of stakers, 124,703. Average annual percentage yield. 37.74%. And then it says average stake, average stake length, 6.88 years. Experience maximum growth with maximum trust. The hex staker class is growing daily with an average stake of 
$21,247 over a period of 6.5 years. Newly initiated hex stakes. Top stakes from the past week. Now, this is pretty cool. Once again, some of this stuff I haven't even seen myself. So we're kind of discovering it now. Because if I was to look at this whole website like I was doing last night uh, in anticipation for the video, I mean, dude, you could spend like you could spend like 10 hours straight just diving into all of the different features and details and functions uh, that this website offers. That's why I haven't covered everything and haven't read everything yet. Um, so we'll just cover some of the basics. Top stakes from the past week. So we've got, it shows the addresses here. You can click on them and I'm sure it'll link you to Etherscan. But it says, uh, let's see. So 2.7 billion hex was staked, 99 million hex was staked, 51 million, 41 million, and 41 million. Um, you can see, once again, these are just the top stakes. And then this says the most recent stakes. This is kind of a little bit more realistic right here, uh, this section over here. And let me just uh, let me just zoom in so we can kind of focus on what I'm talking about. Uh, okay. There we go. Most recent stakes. So this person staked 567,000 for 40 days. Estimated profit 4.7 thousand. Uh, this person, you know, 2,100. This person 8,000. That person 10,000. And then the last person uh, 4,800. So. Once again, we're not going to cover everything. We're just going to kind of broadly, you know, brush the, the paint stroke on the canvas. Richard Hart's Hex is a no, Nobel Prize worthy invention. Interested in investing in one of the highest yielding assets ever? It says, step one, develop your own investment strategy. Once again, this is so important. I'm just a medium. I'm just a vessel for the information that I'm trying to present to people. I already have my strategy, I already have, you know, my, my setup is, is, is done, it's complete. Um, but I'm just a medium and vessel for people that I'm trying to educate, that I'm trying to inform how they can become possibly financially free as well and have different, uh, different forms of passive income as well, that once again, they can generate themselves. They don't have to rely on a middleman. They don't have to ask for permission and some of these other things. Hex is just getting started. Invest now before it goes viral and surpasses $1. With over 1 million percent yield in just 1.5 years and 500,000 holders after only three years, don't miss out on this one of a kind success story. It says, buy Hex to get started. These are the best ways to buy Hex. Okay, so that's the first page, uh, you know, one through five. What is staking? Once again, we're not going to cover all of this stuff because I don't want this to be too long, but we're going we're gonna to try and at least do an introduction of this website and then see what the God Whale is doing with some of their stuff. So what is staking? Additional yield through staking with the market with the market leading blockchain CD, and that stands for certificate of deposit. What are the benefits of staking Hex? <clears throat> Hex is, sorry, Hex is the original. Hex is the first high yield certificate of deposit on the blockchain. You could stake only 25% of your Hex and earn enough yield that you could spend the other 75% over the next 10 years without having a single Hex less at the end. With, let's see, with our hex staking ladder tool, you can find the right staking strategy uh, for you that fits your personal preference and goals. At the same, let's see, at the same time, ensuring that you don't make any mistakes. And then it says, generate your personal staking ladder one minute. So I'm not going to click on this because once again, there's too many buttons to click and things like that. But y'all can go to this website, hexscout.com slash start. And then click number two right here, what is staking? And you can look at the staking ladder yourself. Once again, 124,703 stakers. It says 1,188,705,130 dollars is the total value locked. Once again, for an average of 6.5 years, average annual percentage yield 38% APY. Okay, we've already mentioned what the staking is. Loyal investors are rewarded 
With the bigger pays better and long longer pays better bonuses, stakers can earn additional returns similar to a traditional fixed deposit account. Understanding hex staking, and as we see here, there's another video that you can click as well. It shows what is staking, how the T-shares work, and it's not even the T-shares, it's just how the shares work in general. The T-share the just means one trillion shares. So you can have one share, you can have you know one T-share, et cetera. The T just means one trillion. But it's all the same thing. It's all a form of the shares. So you don't need to have like one T-share. You can have a half a T-share. You know, you can have one million shares, et cetera. It all works the same. It's just different, uh, different depending on how much you have uh, is the amount of, you know, hex that you're going to generate yourself via the staking. Okay, let me come back here. Use the hex staking generator to develop your strategy. So once again, you can say, who do you want to stake for, for yourself or somebody else? And then it's got some of these questions that you might have as you're watching this video now that you can click on and that you can see. So it has some of these uh, commonly asked questions that are answered. So it, it says why the yield fluctuates. Uh, what, let's see, what is the basis for the yield forecast? Can I end my stakes prematurely? Which yes, you can, but there's gonna be a penalty. Um, what is the source of the interest earned? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Okay. Current growth figures for hex. We already kind of mentioned some of these numbers. We don't need to do it again. So we're going to go to how to buy. And once again, whoever the founder is of this website, hexscout.com. Thank you so much. This tool is amazing. I've never seen. I've never been a part of a community that was so enthusiastic, that had so much energy, that had so many ambitions and that are just constantly churning and churning and creating things for other people to use, free resources, free tools, et cetera. I'm making this video to educate people about this website. And then once again, you can use this website and some of these other tools, the, the gopulse.com, gopulsex.com. That was one thing I forgot to mention in the last video was gopulsex. I think that automatically puts you into like their application form, um, like their application kind of layout versus just like the regular website layout. So you can go to gopulsex.com on like your web browser or your phone. And it kind of just seems like a little bit better layout. So that was one thing I actually forgot to mention in the last video that I just wanted to mention briefly here. Which hex would you like to buy? So, <clears throat> you know, hex initially was launched on Ethereum, but now we have a fork of Ethereum, we have our own blockchain and we have Pulse Chain. So, there is two different hexes. They're the same smart contract. The way that they function is the same, but the ecosystem is different. Kind of like an operating system. You've got you've got Linux, you've got Apple, uh, you know, you got Microsoft, et cetera, Windows. Let me come back over here to the website. So why are there two hex? Why are there two hexes? Hex was created. So this pretty much answers what I was just saying. Hex and let's just zoom in and we'll uh, we'll skip to the next step in just a second here. Why are there two hexes? Hex was created by Richard Hart and launched in 2019 on the Ethereum blockchain as a product, complete, smart contract to offer hex buyers more affordable fees. Richard Hart developed his own blockchain, Pulse, so Pulse chain, let's see, Pulse as well as a DEX, which is a decentralized exchange, named Pulse X. Hex was mirrored onto the Pulse chain as an independent smart contract there. Hence, there are two hexes. And let's zoom back out. Perfect, now we're at the standard zoom. Price development since Pulse chain launch. So as you can kind of see, there was a, so let's see. Yeah, this is May of 2023. That's when I was once again in Switzerland and in Rome. And we got the, you know, those that had possession of their coins before the, the hard fork slash snapshot, they, they got a copy, duplicate, et cetera. As you can see, there was a little bit of a sell off here, but now it seems that we're kind of going back up. You know, there's been enough time. There's been enough buyers and sellers to, to get out, to get back in. And now it seems that, you know, the chart, the chart kind of did one of these things, little, little waterfall sell off. Because, you know, there might not be as much confidence as a new thing, speculation, et cetera. 
you got people that want to sell their their free copy for i don't know maybe for pulse chain or for pulse x they didn't get into for the sacrifice etc so you kind of got the waterfall you know elevator drop and then what seems to be happening through enough time is kind of slowly making our way back up the mountain and this is the big ass mountain that we're climbing and it seems that we're going to be going to the top of this mountain and beyond okay so we've got continue with ehex which is hex on ethereum and then it says continue with uh, p hex which is hex on pulse chain so once again you are, you guys and gals boys and girls can take a look at the charts etc and you know deduce however you want or the decisions that you decide to make let's see I mean, yeah, we can we can cover this real quick, and then once again, we'll get into the Godwill stuff, and then wrap up the video there. So, how would <clears throat> how would Hex Scout decide a matter of personal investment preference? And this is a little bit small on my on my monitor here, so let me just let me blow this up a smidge, and let's just make sure we're still recording. Audio is good. Kablam. Okay. As an investor, you can split your investment from the get-go or follow current trends. The trend can be confirmed by A, the price performance, B, the transaction volume, and it says in parentheses, the more transactions, the more life in the asset. C, the amount of liquidity. The more liquidity, the larger the investments, let's see, the larger the investments that can be placed or withdrawn without moving the price too drastically it says ehex phex uh, we've got transactions 363 phex we've got uh 5.6 thousand and liquidity and gas fees etc you can see once again the hexon uh the hexon ethereum is more expensive to uh to transact to to begin with and the hexon pulse chain is a little bit cheaper so when I was first in Hex, because I've been here since day one, did the adoption amplifier, things like this, I foolishly had uh, <laughs> had not actually interacted with the smart contract via MetaMask. I had actually sent directly to the contract address. So then maybe like 25 Ethereum <laughs> uh, day one to uh, to the contract address and message Richard. I was like, hey, like everyone says that they have their coins, uh, you know, put in like 25 ETH. Uh, where's my coins? And he's like, oh, yeah you know here like show me your address show me the the thing and like yeah man you sent to the contract address you know you didn't interact with the actual smart contract via metamask like try not to do that again and that was like half my bag i was like oh fuck dude do i just like quit crypto now because that was all of my life savings um or like half of my life savings then and then i realized okay i got like the other half here let's not make the same mistake twice and let's learn from this thing and and long story short, it's it's paid off. But you know, the success has come from learning from those mistakes and learning from those failures, which have almost been catastrophic. But you know, we're here to to tell the story and have made it through victoriously. So, okay, let's come back and <clears throat> and we'll wrap up here. So once again, y'all can look over there. Let's see. Apart from the factual trend data, it can be observed that transactions on the Ethereum chain sometimes cost a hundred times more than on Pulse Chain. For a staking coin like Hex, lower fees mean that even a small investment volume can build a passive income structure. Based on the above facts and current market data, there's a slight trend favoring PHEX, which is Hex on Pulse Chain at the moment. This is not financial advice. And before I got distracted, that was my point. Since I've been here since the beginning, when Hex first came out, transactions, and I've got the, the data on the blockchain to prove it, trans <clears throat> transactions were like a couple pennies to send to stake wasn't that expensive, to end stake wasn't that expensive. But as the network got more adopted, Ethereum became more expensive, more, more used, especially with NFTs and some of these other things. Like, dude, I, I've had some stakes that were like when it was time to end them, some of them were like $1,500 to end. And and some of that was just barely scraping by when it came to the profits and the price appreciation. So it's like, okay, $1,500 to end in the height of the bull market in November, 2021. 
and that's like if the transaction goes through you might have like a fail transaction stuck transaction so the point is is pulse chain is giving everyone the opportunity that i had that other people who participated early on in hex that we had in 2019 early 2020 etc so you have that opportunity now which is why once again you should be doing your own research spending some of your time if you're choosing to you know invest in assets and and find how you can generate forms of income whether it's active income or passive income etc okay so that was the last part of step 3 number 4 we have thank god that this isn't like a, a super long thing again because it's already like 30 minutes and we're not even through the five steps here uh let's come back to the site here so uh let's see how to stake 10 minutes so it says staking ladder staking types execute stakes use the hex staking generator to develop your strategy develop your ideal staking strategy in just one minute well isn't that nice what let's see what do you want to stake for for me for somebody else we're not going to click on those things so you've got staking types that you can click on uh, and actually, it's not going to show that because I haven't clicked for me or for somebody else. Um, I guess we can just say for somebody else. And then once again, y'all can kind of go through some of these things. We're not going to do that here. Otherwise, it would be a three hour video. But we're not going to do that today. So we'll just click restart and we'll just click. We'll just skip to the last step here. All righty. So last step uh, about Hex Scout. It says Hexican's most powerful app. Manage your portfolio with ease. Seamlessly on sorry, seamlessly onboard new hexagons. Enjoy the best market overview. Download on the App Store. Get it on Google Play. Coming soon. So that's awesome that it's coming soon there. And for now, y'all can just, you know, use your use your smartphone, whatever device you use, or web browser, computer, and y'all can go to hexgout.com and use the website there. Okay, so now what we're gonna do. So we've done that introduction that took 30 minutes. Um, so thanks everyone for the patience there and kind of letting me read some of the, the words on the screen. Now let's click explore Hex Scout. So once again, we're gonna do the two addresses that I did in the last video that I just did a couple of days ago for gopulse.com. And it's gonna take maybe a couple seconds to load because just like with uh, hexfire.io, Crispy, him and actually uh, Johnny Chaos, uh, CCFX Studios, they did a stream today and I was listening to that uh, when I was kind of getting ready for this stream and setting up the room and stuff. And anyways, it's it's good to see, good to see Johnny. It's good to see uh, Crispy Man, uh, hexfire.io, I think is what it is. So anyways, the, the people in this community, uh, once again, have a lot of energy, have a lot of passion, as you can see with, you know, my channel and things like that. And, you know, we, uh, we we planted the seed. We've uh, we've watered, you know, watered the seed. And guess what? Now we got freaking huge trees that are bearing the fruits of the labor. You know, we planted the seed. We put all that work in the soil and things like that. And now, when it comes time to harvest, we've got more than enough and enough to have our expenses paid for, et cetera, And then help out the the people within your circle. And then. And then you can kind of start expanding into some other things, like what are some of your hobbies or how do, how do you want to help other people get into the same position that you're in? Because there's kind of a scarcity mentality that some people have where it's like, okay, I, uh, I accumulated and amassed all this money, you know, say I've got like a hundred million dollars. Well, I'm just going <clears> to <throat> hide out in my lair and be a vampire and not interact with anyone. Um, cause I did all this hard work to get here where I'm at today versus, Hey man, kind of like the Richard Hart approach could be a potential billionaire with some of these things that he's created. And guess what? He's still providing value. He's still building things because what you find is when you have all the time in the world, you could, you could sleep all day. You could do nothing. You could, you know, um, uh, you could live uh, hedonically and, and excess and things like that. And what you realize is that is not very, uh, not very rewarding, you know, and what you find that's rewarding for me, from my experience, this is anecdotal, anecdata, is that you realize, hey, man, I feel better when I'm providing value for other people and when I'm educating other people on the things that got me to where I'm at today, because I want to help them get out of the freaking rat race 
And I don't want them, you know, I don't want eight year old grandma to be signing receipts at Walmart and, you know, sh she shouldn't be working there. She should be like with her family or with, with her grandchildren, not freaking working for the man and working for the corporation and kind of getting screwed over by the system. But the only way that can stop is through education, is through a willingness and a want to to have 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 it a little bit differently. You know, you have to once again put in the work to to see those results. But I promise you, it's worth it. I'm living proof of it. Richard is proof of it. Many people are proof of it. Okay, so it's loaded. We've got the God Whale once again, six 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 D. Got the little whale icon. Isn't that a beautiful icon? And then you've got 63D. So once again, we've just got these two addresses here. Uh, now you can add another address. You can hide addresses, et cetera. Once again, this is the, uh, so this is what the Godwill has between these two addresses uh, on hex, or sorry, on Ethereum and on Pulse Chain. Okay, cool. And then you could click this little eye and it would hide it. And then you can click it again and it'll show it. So once again, y'all can kind of tweak with some of these things and just see the data for yourself. These aren't my addresses. I wish they were, right? Whoever the God will is, congrats to you. You've done very well. Little uh, little golf clap. But let's just take a look at some of their portfolio, just between two addresses that are publicly known. And they got plenty more. Okay. So two addresses, Hex and Ethereum. So Hex, man, they got a lot of Hex. So they have 11,750,630,299. Now this says, when we hover over this, it says liquid plus staked plus accrued Hex. So what the dollar value of that is, is $162,718,080. Now, once again, beautiful thing here. So Hex on Ethereum, once again, there, there is two hexes, okay? So there's Hex on Ethereum, there's Hex on Pulse Chain, things like that. So the Hex on Ethereum we can see is right at a penny. And then we've got the Hex on Pulse Chain is 1.77 pennies, okay? And it also shows their other assets here as well. So Hedron is something that uh, Alex uh, Synergy had created, amazing resource as well. Uh, that's a whole nother rabbit hole to go down to that we're definitely not going to do in this video. But I know people like uh, Crypto Sloth and and things like that. Uh, once again, Alex Synergy, uh, founder of Hedron. You know, you can you can do some of this research yourself. And if you're you know that curious to learn, the the people are out there. The information is out there. You just got to spend the time to actually educate yourself and do it. Once again, they've got 2.2 trillion Hedron. Uh, let's see. So worth $914,883. Eh, that's not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. So once again, you can see their assets here as well. We're going to scroll down a smidge. We can see their hex balance. Once again, with their with their stakes and things like that, you can see their stakes as well. But you can see that their, their actual hex that they're generating via their stakes is going up and to the right, which is just how it's designed. And you can also see their history as well. So it looks like they've done, they've done some uh, some work and some some transactions and things like that. Um, as soon as yesterday, it looks like it shows some of their pooled stakes, some of their native stakes here. So let's just look at the native stakes: two point seven billion hex principal, nine billion hex accrued. These are some beautiful numbers. And once again, this is just the Godwill as an example because they've always been benevolent. Uh, when they first when they first came in, uh, I think it was, what was it? It was like April of 2020. And I think that's when kind of Kareem started getting into the game and started getting into some of the streaming and stuff like that. Because I don't think I started my first video until I think it was like June of 2020, even though I had you know participated in Hacks early on and followed Richard since... Uh, since March 15, 2017, hadn't hadn't decided to break the anonymity and actually start posting on the Ballet Brand YouTube channel uh, until I think it was about June 2020. Uh, but my point is, is freaking Godwill says, hey, you know, they, they see what's going on. And I think it was uh, April of 2020 that they did a market buy, which I think was I think it was like 10,000 Ethereum in a market buy. And I, I remember looking at uh, 
it was Steph that had the website at the time before Staker app, which was uh, hexlive.com. And isn't it interesting that he's going back to like the website version again? Um, so thank you. Thank you again, Steph, for, you know, all of the, the work that you've done too. And everyone that's done the work here as well. I appreciate it. It's a, it's a collaboration. It's a teamwork and, and group effort. It's not a one person thing. And Richard understands that as well. That's why he's been endorsing and kind of updating his worldview on some of these things. He, he realizes he can't do everything. So you've got other people that have already started on some of these wallets and some of these things that Richard kind of had ambitions for. Um, so isn't that kind of interesting that he's like subtly um, not recommending, but he's at least exposing people to some of these things that are existing. Okay, let's come back. And once again, we're going to kind of wrap up here and try and not make this over an hour because we're already at like 39 minutes and 56 seconds. <clears throat> so between between these two stakes, they have a 7.7 .7 year average duration, yield of 764,000 T-shares. That is beautiful. Let's see. So they are a Poseidon. So they have more than 206,000, which makes them a Poseidon. They're earning uh, 5.2 million hex daily. And once again, this is via their stakes. So just because they're earning that amount doesn't mean that they can realize that and sell that on your head uh, because they're earning that. No, if they were to end their stakes early, they would be penalized and penalized um, because they wouldn't be abiding by what they said they would do. And all of that information is public, is once again, audited on the, the blockchain via the hex code. Um, so the only time that you can actually realize that is when your stake is is due and you know you have to manually end the stake yourself pay pay for the fees etc but then once the the stake is over you've ended it you've paid the fees whether it's on ethereum or on pulse chain then you've got the principal plus the the yield that was generated via how the hex staking system works okay so once again, these are just some beautiful numbers. They've earned an average of 67% annual percentage yield. Once again, you can't get these numbers anywhere else. And crypto seems to be becoming more widely adopted. I'm a big fan of the cypherpunk movement of privacy, of security, of anonymity, of, like I mentioned last time, privacy is enshrined and uh, in, in the Constitution, in the Bill of Rights as a human right. So isn't it pretty cool that we have via the internet and some of these technologies, thanks to uh, Bitcoin kind of being the, the foot through the door and kind of like the, the, first, the first example, now we've got different iterations, you know, Ethereum allowed. So Bitcoin was just mining and sending and receiving. And sure, you could time lock, but you wouldn't be rewarded for that. So why the heck would you do that? But then Ethereum was programmable money. And so now you can, you know, Richard would always say like, yeah, you can't use a blockchain to like wake you up in the morning, things like this. But what you can do is when Richard, I was actually talking with uh, Hexdeck 16 last night and he was saying like, yeah, man, you know, I've been following Richard. He's been following Richard uh, pretty much as long as I have, if not longer, since the uh, CFD days, computational fluid dynamics days. But what Richard found out was that was a little bit too complex. And so he said, you know what, instead of doing this like super complex thing, let me uh, let me just do what's the, the most popular thing at the bank, which is a cer certificate of deposit time deposit. And I actually don't want to remove it from my wall because it's I got like the blue, the blue sticky stuff, the blue tack that Richard uses. But I got a photo of when I was like two or three years old uh, for Christmas of a savings bond that my grandpa had given me. and. Uh, there's there's a grandpa right there still alive uh happy and well healthy and stuff like that but he had given myself and my brothers um you know savings bonds for for christmas and our birthdays up until i don't know 16 or 18 it wasn't 18 i think it was 16 but either way the point is 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 that's how i ended up understanding investing which I first got into stocks and precious metals. And then when it came around to crypto, I was like, oh, this is the place to be. But the point is that my grandpa would buy these $25 principal savings bonds. And then after 15 years, they would mature to, uh, to $50. And you actually could, 
this is kind of the interesting thing. You could actually cash them in early, but say if you had a 15 year savings bond, which is what they were, $25 principal. Well, say maybe after 10 years, because I ended up using some of it to purchase my first car. So I think some of them I had like cashed in at say like 10 years. Well, instead of $50 per savings bond, maybe it was like $37.7, something like that. Uh, but the point is, is that's what kind of got me to, to understand what Richard was doing. So when he pivoted from computational fluid dynamics to it was first Bitcoin hex, and then he's like, you know what? Screw these Bitcoin people, man. They're ungrateful pipsqueaks. And uh, let me just remove the Bitcoin from the, the hex. Instead of Bitcoin hex, let me just call it hex. And uh, what a beautiful change and pivot that was. Okay, so tangent tangent noted. Um, okay, so once again, y'all can see the different addresses and things like that. Uh, and last thing I'll say, there's there's too much data, like I mentioned, to to cover everything here. So. We're just going to take a look at just a couple more things and then we'll end the video. Uh, so you can click market, portfolio, buy, stake, news, and then there's support. And let me just make sure we're on the right screen. Okay, we are. So one stop hex management. And isn't that beautiful? We've got all these different hex tools and pulse chain and pulse X resources and things like that. And, and sometimes it can kind of be information overload, man. Uh, if you give people too many options, say they're say they're painting their room. I used to work at Sherwin Williams, uh, one of the paint companies, and I used to do painting for uh, commercial commercial as well. And and what you come to find out in sales and things like this is, uh, you know, say say you want to paint your walls here. This is kind of like a kind of like a beige khaki brown. Well, there's there's more than fifty shades of gray. There's a whole bunch of shades of gray and. And white isn't white. There's warmer colors, cooler colors, et cetera. My point is, is if you give someone, say someone wants to, to paint their wall khaki and you have, you know, say more than two or three different color options, they are going to have like information overload. And some people call it like, uh, what is it like analysis by paralysis or paralysis by analysis, something like that. And what it means is it's like, it's like inundation. You know, you have too many options. Um, and as Thosh Child says, he's like too many cooks in the kitchen. So, you know, have have two or three cooks in the kitchen. And in uh, that way, you know, you don't get confused and you don't feel overwhelmed. So I said all that to say that isn't it amazing that we have a one stop shop for beginners, for intermediates, for experts as well. So once again, one stop hex management. I think that's really cool. So you can see the 24 hour price chart, uh, seven day, 30 day, and then historically all. All right. So, so yeah, that's pretty much it, everyone. Uh, like I said, I don't want to make this too long of a video. It's already kind of broaching the, you know, kind of like the, the hour territory. And I just, I feel like I've talked enough and kind of covered enough for y'all to, y'all to see what this website uh, entails. We'll just cover a couple last things. So once again, you can click buy on Ethereum, on Pulse Chain. Y'all can go back there and do that. You can click stake as well. Let me just click news and let's just see if there's anything here. So they have integrated kind of like uh, X.com, the formerly Twitter. So you've got Hex Scout News. It says, uh, this is actually the tweet that I have pulled up on a different tab. I was debating on showing this first, but I figured I'd show the website first. So they say, and so follow Hex Scout. So uh, x.com slash uh, Hex Scout, H E X S C O U T. Anyways, Hex Scout, go click and follow them. Hexicans, you know, let's see, you now have the most powerful educational tool in Hex history. And then it's the website. It says, uh, Ben's thread shows how important it is that you integrate this tool into your daily educational discussions. Fire emoji. We built it for you, but it needs you to make it known. And isn't that the truth? You know, you can have, you can have the right tool for the right job, but if you don't know where the heck that tool is, then you're kind of, you know, up creek without a paddle and you're kind of, you're kind of screwed and kind of out of luck. So you need to have the right tool for the right job. So like they said, uh, maybe, maybe pin this website, Come, come back to this video if you want to see some of the features that I've covered. 
and then once again, explore some of it for yourself and see what it all has to offer because there's so much that it has to offer. And, you know, no one is above, no one is above more education. You can be an expert. You can be in here since day one, like I've been, but guess what? I still need to be constantly learning because maybe there's uh, a different strategy or a different set of tactics that I can incorporate and envelop that can make some of my uh, like my returns on investment and return on the time and energy that I'm putting into it that can make it more maximized and more beneficial. So once again, you got the hex news and then you also got support here as well. I haven't looked at this yet, so let's just we'll look at this and then we'll end the video. Uh, starter step-by-step -step tour. What is hex? What is staking? How to buy? How to stake? <clears throat> your intro. Let's see. Your start into hex. Now this is interesting. So personal one-on-one -on -one support for investing in hex. It says wallet buying staking. So I guess you can click one of these options. It says choose processes to get help. Hex Scout is here for you. Receive support. I haven't followed them on Telegram, so I actually will follow them on Telegram sometime after this video. Um, you know, I have followed them on Twitter on X. It says technical app support. Let's see. To get in contact, it says contact info. Stay up to date so you can report bugs. Uh, report report bug uh, bugs at hexscout.com. Uh, works in progress. And then it says bugs fixed. So once again, if there's a bug on the website, something that doesn't really seem like it should be, y'all can go to that section and report it. So anyways, we're going to end that video here. Like I mentioned, we did the gopulse.com the other day, and today was hexscout.com. I actually got to see uh, Jake Vets in Crypto for maybe an hour and a half last night after his stream with uh, Randy Hilarski. He's a, he's a great hexagon. It was awesome to see him. But um, my point is, is I actually want to be having him on, on my channel here soon. Let me actually just see here. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm logged into Twitter or not. I am. So let me just share the photo right quick. I thought it was a good photo and, uh, and it's always good to, it's always good to see hexagon. So I will stop presenting and I'll present it and we'll, we'll end it here. Uh, by saying what we're going to be doing in the future. Let's see. Here it is. And we don't need to share tab audio. So let's just share that. One second here. Y'all can see. And then let me scooch that over there. So yeah, I said, I got to hang out with Jake. Vets in crypto. He's got, he's got two different accounts. So we have Vets in crypto. And then, uh, and then this one right here. Uh, Vets in crypto with the K-R-Y-P-T-O, uh, Crypto One. So follow both of those accounts. Go to this tweet. Uh, I'll probably put that in the description as well, uh, just like I did last time with his channel. So you can subscribe to him, follow him, etc. But I said, uh, if if y'all, if you all, if you all aren't following him on X or YouTube, you're missing out. I'm going to have him on my channel for a live stream slash interview slash conversation in the next few weeks or maybe less. So. Once again, him and I were chit-chatting a little bit about it last night. We're going to have to coordinate and align schedules. And uh, like I said, I'll be following on, you know, following through with what I just said now and uh, being a man of my word with that. So it'll probably be my first live stream coming back. And there's some other, some other things like that that I want to do. Once again, you know, I've got all this time in the world and things like that. And hey, instead of doing <laughs> thumb squats and and uh, being a, a useless pipsqueak, why don't we actually start uh, providing value and getting back into it, um, especially because we're, we're in a bull market, man. And the opportunity, like I mentioned, is ripe right now. So let's take the time right now and, you know, maybe sacrifice some, some screen time, some social media time, you know, date here, date there. Don't, don't sacrifice too much because I've done that in the past too. And that, and that, doesn't, that doesn't really work out as well either. But um, sacrifice enough to take care of yourself first, and then you can have uh, enough enough resources and things like that through the time that you sacrifice to be able to take care of your family, your friends, your loved ones, things like that. So, and let me see what else I said. I said I'm gonna have him on my channel, like I mentioned, 
uh, in a few weeks or maybe less. And then I said, Pulse Chain's going to rocket ship. And then uh, once again, that's about here with Jake. And that was uh, at his place. And then this was the other photo as well. And these hats actually, uh, I, I got mine right here. I got to say shout out to, uh, to Brian Magruder. But so let's just look at the screen here. Yeah, so that hat that Jake is wearing, that gold and black one, gold, black. Uh, and then the one that I'm wearing, those are both from Brian Magruder. He's a great guy as well. And this is actually the one that I was wearing. So I was wearing this little red headband because it's a little bit easier easier than tying the hair into a ponytail. And then this uh, this is what actually uh, Brian Magruder hooked me up with. So thank you, Brian. Once again, uh, awesome hexican. I think uh, I think I saw him one time in Vegas, but I don't think I actually got to converse with him and and chit chat with him. So whenever that time aligns in the future, I'm really looking forward to thanking him in person. And you know, I don't drink, but you know, if he does buy him a beer or cigar or uh, buy him some lunch or something like that as a, as a favor to return the favor that he did. But so this is the hat that he hooked me up with. So it says Pulse X right here. Isn't this like such attention to detail? This is a little pin that I bought from Hex Toys. So Pulse X got the, the Hex Toys pin on, let's see, when we pivot this, we've got Pulse Chain. Let's make sure y'all can see. Come on, Pulse Chain. And then uh, let's scooch it to the back. So we've got Hex, Pulse X, and Pulse Chain. Once again, you got like the Pulse Chain to throbbing, <laughs> throbbing beats. Uh, pretty, pretty funny where that, uh, where that, where that first came from. If y'all know, y'all know. Fourteen is the uh, the number to go for there. Uh, we got Pulse X on the bottom of the bill here. Once again, colored bill, very beautiful. And then I thought this was cool too. Once again, attention to detail. So we got hex, yeah, hex, pulse chain, and then this is uh, this is Brian Magruder's logo, I believe, which is like hex, and it's got a shark, which is pretty cool. And then uh, the shark kind of like taking a bite of the the top right. I'll uh, see. So yeah, I think I think that's everything there. So we'll uh, we'll scooch that there. Thank you everyone for watching this video as well. Like I mentioned. My buddy uh, Jerry Berg, and actually, let me just let me shill his channel real quick too, because this is a guy that I got to meet. Let's see, YouTube.com. I've been following this guy for a long time. Let's see here. Come on, no YouTube. Let's see, Barnacles. Barnacles. Where he got his name was like a combination of Hercules. In barnacle, so that's kind of interesting. The etymology of where his name had started from. Uh, and sorry, let me. I meant to. I meant to show the channel, not the, uh, the other search results. So, so this is uh, Jerry Berg. I used to work for Microsoft as a senior project developer, like a, you know, coder and things like that. Very smart guy. He's got eight hundred and fifty-one thousand subscribers on YouTube. He does. Uh, he does live streams. Uh, seemingly every weekend. Like you know, sometimes we. We got different schedules and and life events and things like that that kind of take us away from from like the scheduled things. But my point is, is this guy Jerry? He, uh, you know, I'm not a programmer. I'm not a software developer or anything like that. Richard actually has a video called "So You Want to Be a Software Developer." I think that's a good live stream to watch. But Jerry, he's recommended uh, yt.dlp, and it's a project on GitHub. So I'm going to ask Chat GPT. How the heck uh, a novice and newbie like me can upload this video to 1080p and then use yt.dlp to to download and 4K enhance and upscale, uh, up resolution it to 4K. So once again, we're going to spend a little bit of time. It's it's only 12:30 in the afternoon right now. So I'm going to spend maybe like an hour uploading this to the 1080p, and then we're going to try and use that yt.dlp to push this sucker into 4k because you know for a pre-recorded video why not spend a little bit more effort and try and you know give you the person that's spending your time watching this uh a better a better resolution and a better audio quality and things like that so go give him a follow on on x.com and on youtube as well so twitter.com slash barnacles as you can see it's spelt like that b 
E-A-R-N-A-C-U-L-E-S. And this is his YouTube channel. He also streams on Twitch as well. So once again, thank you, Jerry, for that recommendation. We're going to we're going to give it a shot right now. So we're under the hour mark and we're going to end it right here. So thank you, everyone, for once again, the, the patience with the YouTube channel. Um, like I said, took a much, much needed time off and kind of things like that to get some things that needed to be fixing uh, fixed. And now we're back. So we're back in in full force. And I'm really happy and the time just totally feels and can feel in the air tonight, little uh, Bill Collins there, but I can feel it in the air that this is just the, the right time. So I'm super happy to be getting back into it and, and using the free time that I have to, uh, to not be a pipsqueak and actually provide value to everyone. So thank you, everyone. I'll end this here and uh, have a good day or afternoon or evening, wherever you're tuning in from. So see everyone on the next one. Peace.